elevator's our only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <clears throat> Anybody, please! That sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Down here! Quickly! Okay. Please! Scratch. Gotta be careful. 
your chance. Strike hard and fast. Together, take it all. I got that. Find a doctor? There's no time. Somebody! Help! <sighs> Don't just stand there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. <sighs> now, start! Uh.
Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! Dump, 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 dump. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome! Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who is that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. I think about what else is lurking in these waters. I'm oh, so glad she wasn't hurt. Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. Right? Now, how the hell did you? I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but. Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Well, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. Sweet! You won't be sorry, promise. I know she laid it on pretty thick, but hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. the heroes of the hour i heard about what you did for that girl thank you so much your stay is on us we insist it's the least we can do for you really now then how many we got will four rooms be enough <clears throat> uh, could you make it five five it is oh everything is comped so if you need anything at all just ask don't know about you but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? It's open. So about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I'll break it to her gentle. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? I could feel 
them slipping away, one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but... I just can't remember. Damn whispers! Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud! Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Right. Thought it was someone else. Nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? The church, right? Oh, so close. That was the second time. Oh yeah. Right. That was fun, wasn't it? Hopping from roof to roof together like that? Yes. This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Huh. Not good. Thankfully, my ears are unaffected. I'll let you know if I hear anything unusual. timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio? From Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? 
I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? that the gang's all here. It's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the interim Wutai government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with. Mm. Uh, Wutai? brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that low. I resent that! <laughs> Although, that is something we do. alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess! <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Yunnan demands revenge. So when the president steps out, Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, got a hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> 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 
Now, now, you don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if I think, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith game. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. <laughs> <laughs> 